Hello friends, this is Vineet. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Techie Sub. So today's tutorial is all about, we have a concept of a run settings file in Visual Studio. So how we can actually uh, provide uh, values to this run settings file when we run it from the release pipeline. So actually it's like how we can parameterize the run settings file at the time of release pipeline. So for this, uh, I'll be just uh, using one test case. So I have created my project and it has four tests. So actually I have done the coding. So this is a run settings file. So you can see actually I have given the parameter name as browser and the value is crop. And here I have uh, I am taking it using the test context only we are actually taking the value. So the test context dot properties of browser to string. And if I run this script, okay, so you can see the test has passed and the output you can see Chrome. Okay, so it, it, this is working fine. So, but one thing you have to oh, make sure when you are uh, using the run settings file. Just go to the test menu and select the test settings. So you have to actually map the test settings, uh, run settings to this project or else it will not run. So you make sure you do that. So now once I uh, I have completed this, so now I will be, I have already pushed this code into Git. So I'll be taking this from Git. Now I am going to my uh, pipeline, Azure DevOps. So uh, this is my Azure DevOps and I am going to my release. So I have already uh, done the setup for my release pipeline. So actually this is my artifact and this is my uh, task. So I have already set up the agent, then the test platform installer and the assemblies. And I'll be running it based on this filter criteria. And I have given my test uh, run settings file here. Okay, so if you have something called override test run parameters, if you just click on this and you can just add it here. So what you want to change, so then change the browser and the value should be Firefox. So you can say browser is Firefox. So uh, we have saved it to Chrome, now it is Firefox. Just save it. And now you can create a new release. Create. So I have uh, deployed it. So the agent has started. Okay, so I will just pause it for some time so that once it is done, I will just resume the video. Okay, so actually it is execution is in progress. So it failed. And if you go to the test run, okay, you can see the test method two failed. Okay, no, it's actually it's so you can see two test cases oh, no, the only thing that I did wrong is even though I changed it here I didn't push the actually code so it's like you have to <laughs> commit and push the code so I don't know because of this uh, demo purpose I forgot to push the code so because of uh, uh, not pushing the code earlier I had two uh, test cases so those two test cases are now passed so now if I go to my um, test plans and if I go to my runs and then if I click on my latest test run ID and if I come down and download this okay, 
so it got opened so you can see here it changed to Firefox so earlier it was Chrome but I uh, changed the value in the override uh, that section and it changed to Firefox so that's how we can parameterize anything uh, so you want to change the browser also you can parameterize and based on that you have to handle it inside the code so that's all about how we can uh, override the uh, test run settings thank you for watching the video have a good day bye